It's an environmental crisis that just won't go away. For over a decade, St. Lucia has battled the invasive spread of sargassum seaweed drifting from the Atlantic and overwhelming the island's coastlines, clogging beaches, endangering marine ecosystems and impacting vital industries such as tourism and fishing. Now, as the brown tide resurfaces, government officials are renewing calls for urgent action. On the latest episode of Agriculture on the Move, Deputy Chief Fisheries Officer Thomas Nelson weighed in on the growing threat. Of late, there have been reports of another source of sargassum, uh, which is really in the northern um, Brazil shelf. So down near Brazil, Suriname, Guyana, in this area, there's been uh, another source identified where sargassum is blooming. The accumulation of sargassum, typically concentrated along the island's east coast, has created a range of difficulties for beachgoers, fishermen and marine life. Nelson also highlighted a new development. The seaweed is now beginning to show up along the island's western coast. You would get the influx or the strandings uh, on the east coast. What would happen is occasionally you will get some stranding on the west coast. Mm -hmm. And this is what created uh, most of the alarm mm -hmm. uh, because there was basically change in current patterns. And therefore it caused the sargassum to come into areas or bays on the west coast of the island. Nelson further outlined ongoing efforts to manage the recurring buildup of sargassum along the island's coastline. He also emphasized the various challenges involved in addressing the issue. What the ministry has done over, well, not only the ministry, but what government basically has been doing to alleviate the impact and the challenges being faced by those communities is really cleaning up um, once they have large strandings or large influx of sargassum within those areas. Now, we would appreciate in Praline, for example, this is a mangrove system, mm -hmm. and it is very difficult to get machinery in there. In Mikud, you have a beach area there. Um, in uh, uh, Savans Bay, sometimes when it comes in there, it's again another very sensitive marine um, uh, ecosystem where you have mangroves. But this has generally been um, what has been done over the years. While the government continues to explore solutions to address the influx of sargassum, the Deputy Chief Fisheries Officer offered an update on ongoing initiatives and response efforts. St. Lucia will be benefiting from a, a UNDP project that is funded by the government of Japan to provide some equipment and machinery. And in fact, we are in the process of, we are, some of this equipment have actually arrived on island, the first phase or the first set of equipment, and we are in the process of clearing these, these, these pieces of equipment. Um, as part of the project, there is going to be uh, a, a vessel to help with offshore um, harvesting or harvesting of the sea moss um, out at sea. Mm -hmm. But we also will be getting some tractors, dump trucks, etc., to help with harvesting um, or dealing with those that would have come on Unsure. the shore. Experts point to rising sea surface temperatures and shifting ocean currents as key factors fueling the surge in sargassum along the island's coastlines, conditions that create the perfect breeding ground for the seaweed and allow massive blooms to drift ashore. For Choice News Now, I am Dyer Lionel.